Hello everyone, welcome back to Thirsty for Art. This is Yu Jung, and we talk all about online art therapy business here. Today, I'm going to talk about why you need to help just one person. If you are an art therapist or creative facilitator, I really recommend helping just one person. <laughs> and I will explain what I mean. I think this is the reason why online art therapy businesses can be successful. It's how all thriving online art therapy businesses are based on. You know, they base it on this one idea that helping one person makes a huge difference um, in your business and in the impact that you make in this world too. I often hear a lot of questions about like, I don't know what to do with my social media. How do I reach more people? How do I grow my audience? How do I get more clients? How do I get more consistent inquiries? And all these things. And actually, there is just one answer to all these questions. And that is helping one person. Just help one person. Even just having a range of people that you are trying to help or perhaps you're trying to help like two groups of people maybe they're very different or kind of similar but slightly different even those situations they can become an obstacle to your social media growth to your reach to you getting more clients because of this reason, because you're not helping just one person. So what I mean by this, and I'm going to explain in a minute, is really helping one person is the starting point to creating a big impact within your business and helping even more people. It's very paradoxical. However, uh, I've seen this again and again and again, meaning when I help art therapists and facilitators with their business, especially with their social media in terms of marketing and getting clients, a lot of the times people, when they are struggling with getting clients, it's because they are trying to help lots of people at once. They are trying to help hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens of thousands, millions of people at once. Their messaging, their social media, messaging and their marketing, their content is trying to help millions of people at once. And that makes it so, so difficult to get clients. When you speak to everybody and everyone on this earth, it's hard for people to feel like you hear them specifically because every you think about it at point of, from the point of view of a client, we all think, as clients, we all think our problems are special and unique to us. And of course they are, right? Because even though other people might have the same problem, we come from different backgrounds. We come from different upbringings and different cultures and different personalities too. And so we always feel like our problems are very unique and special to us. Um, and the reason why people do not get help is we feel like the other person, the professional, the helper, doesn't get us, right? They don't understand us specifically. They don't, we don't know if they can actually help us with this specific problem, X, Y, and Z. And so when we speak to everybody and anybody, we fail to really connect with that specific person that we were trying to help. And so from a marketing point of view, from a business point of view, and even just a logical, logistical point of view, it really, really helps when we just focus on helping one person. But I want to share with you some of the things that will hopefully help you do this because maybe you're thinking, yeah, I know I need to be a little bit more specific. I know I want to hone in on my ideal clients, but there might be some difficulties doing that. And so I want to share some things that you 
need to know in order for you to be more open to embracing this idea and and thus you know, having more results and making more impact with through your business. So these are the things that you would need to know. Number one is don't try to appease everyone. Don't try to address every problem that everybody has, right? So I think that we try to address many different types of problem at once when we try to help a lot of people. We try to appease everyone, right? Especially with our content, social media, marketing strategy, we try to get all of the people. We try to appease them. We try to satisfy all the people with their all their X Y Z problems. So first of all, with this, it's very very hard to do that. <laughs> it will feel very very generic when you do this. Your content will feel very generic. Your content will lack a certain spice. Will lack any sort of like resonancy or like feeling that having that you know. Feeling of oh that person understands me specifically, so first of all it's very very hard to address everybody and everybody's problems and appease everyone, and I think that we as helpers tend to fall into that trap of trying to appease everybody because we are quote unquote helpers and we're here to help people with their problems and so we want to help everybody and everyone and they're all their problems, <laughs> which. Yeah, is very common in this field of art therapy and therapeutic art, but it's something that we can move away from because it's at the end of the day, it's hard to do. First of all, and number two, it's a very hasty approach to making a difference in this world. It's kind of like saying you want to go on Mount Everest, but you want to do it in one go in one day on your own. Right, like you're trying to save everyone at once in one go, and I feel like things are not like that <laughs> when we do try to help people. Right, we cannot be on Mount Everest in one go in one day. <laughs> so we want to let go of this pressure and hastiness that we have of trying to save everyone and everyone's problems. The real way to make a difference in this world. And change the masses, like change lots of people at once. Actually, is and bring a change in a bigger scale through art therapy or therapeutic art, and really affect a lot of lives. It all comes down to helping one person, especially in the beginning of our business, helping one person, not thousands of people at the same time. No. <laughs> So we have to ask the question to ourselves: Why do we try to make our marketing target thousands of people at the same time? I just need to speak to one person. That's all we have to do in terms of marketing. Trying to approach the masses at once through our marketing, through our social media content, is like being the hare. But actually, you want to be the horn. You want to be the few who is able to make a bigger impact. Right, and so I know there is this kind of impatience sometimes within us. Like we all want to change this world at once, millions of people. Because I know art therapy is so amazing, and that's true. It is amazing, but we need to actually sometimes practice humility and humbleness. And that is the big thing that I wanted to share today. We forget to be humble. We try to be someone we're not. We try to. What I mean by this is, we try to ignore the humble stumblings that we make, the moments we trip over, the moments we stop, the moments where we mess up, and we try to ignore all those kind of shortfalls because we think that that's not good. We cannot be those things. We cannot be an imperfect, human, messy, unremarkable helper. We assume that that's not a good quality in us, so we try to block them from our awareness and try to instead be this completely hundred percent superhuman person who's all good, who's all knowing, who can help all people at once, thousands of people at once, millions of people at once. 
but where is the humility and hum- humbleness in that, right? <laughs> I think that hum- humbleness is the quality that we have when we come to a situation where things fall apart, but we still hold those falling apart parts of ourselves within our hands. We still hold that space for those pieces that are falling apart. And when we do that, as we trust the pieces will come together, right? As I love the writings of Pema Chodron, and she once said, things come together and things fall apart. I'm paraphrasing here a little, but then they come together again and they fall apart again. It's just like that. The healing comes from letting there be room for all of this to happen. Room for grief, for relief, for misery, for joy. So I think that when we embrace humility and humbleness as art therapists and facilitators, we are able to make room for all those humble shortcomings, (laughs) the messiness and the unremarkableness and the humanness within us. And when we embrace that part of ourselves, we serve the world even better. Why? Because we allow our clients to do the same. And for those of you who put God first, and you know that this is an important thing, right? To have that humility and humbleness in what we do when we serve people, right? And so I want to just share this really quick quote from the episode of James chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. So when we embrace that humility and humbleness, embrace that messiness and that smallness of ourselves, and don't try to serve everybody and anybody, don't try to serve millions of people at once, we actually can serve the world even bigger. I mean, from what I know, all great companies <laughs> in the business world started with just serving one person. They didn't try to serve millions of people at once. Amazon actually didn't try to serve everybody <laughs> for sure. They were a very small bookstore. And you know, there's millions of other examples there in the business world. But yes, just one person, one person not even a range. (laughs) I want to challenge you here. Don't go with a range of people like say 20 You, um, If you are specific about your demographics, don't say like, oh, I'm going to serve. I'm trying to help people who are 20 years old through 40 years old. You know, even go even specific than that. Help just one person. What is that one person's age, name, you know, their problems, things like that, their interests. So all in all, it's really about honing in on your ideal clients. But I'm explaining here like why this really works, right? And and helping you try to hone in on that one person. And it works because it allows us to serve even bigger. I know it's paradoxical, but when we are when we have humility and humbleness, we can actually serve more people. When we try not to appease everybody, we actually can help lots of people. So weird how that works, but I think that it all just comes back to us, to the relationship we have with ourselves. We're not here to fix all of ourselves at once. We are here to be with a part of ourselves One at a time, I think, (laughs) at least. With the relationship that we have with ourselves, we, we want to be patient. We want to do it one at a time. Because I know if we don't do it one at a time or one day at a time, we get overwhelmed. So it's a way of caring for ourselves when we try to help ourselves one day at a time, one thing at a time. So we do the same Within our business, we help one person at a time, one day at a time. And when we do that, we will, in time, be in a place where we are, we will look up 
and we will find that oh, I am serving more people than I ever imagined I could. Yeah, so you will actually forget about <laughs> how many people because you'll be so focused on that serving that one person, right? And there is so much joy in helping that one person, in speaking to that one person in our social media, helping helping that one person. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. You know, sometimes I realize that I can give you all the、uh, marketing reasons and logistical reasons to do a certain thing with with your business, but I also think that business comes from how we think and how we feel about ourselves and about the world. And so sometimes it's spiritual, sometimes it's emotional, sometimes <laughs> it's really mental. All about mindset and beliefs. So I hope that this was helpful and useful for you. If you would love to let me know how this helped you out,、uh, please reach out to me.、Um, I'm on Instagram at Thirsty for Art Official and also on YouTube, of course. And yeah, so thanks a lot for being here. I'm gonna talk to you in the next episode. Bye bye.